next strategy that I'd like to take you through is called plus minus interesting. It's also called the PMI strategy. As you can see on the chalkboard, I have a, a chart with three columns. The first one is plus, minus, and interesting. This is a great strategy to help students make good decisions. So if we think about the topic of substance use and abuse, this can be used as a culminating activity at the end of a unit. You're asking students to think about all of the information that they've learned in this unit and to put that into this chart form. So the plus column is thinking about what are some good ideas or good decisions that could be made around the use of substances. Maybe you know they'll see people drinking or using drugs and maybe there's some positive things that they might associate with that with. So that's their plus column. In the minus column, what are some bad ideas or bad decisions that might be made around the use of substances? And then in the final column, interesting, what you're asking the students to do is to really balance out the pluses and the minuses to come up with what would be their individual decision or action that they might take. Many of you may know this as you know, pros and cons. If you have a big decision to make in your life, you make up a pro list of columnists to try and help you decide what to do. So this is something similar. Also in the interesting column, students can write some questions to consider. So maybe in the given scenario, here's some things I would consider depending on the action that I would take. So I'd like you to try that strategy right now. This is done individually with students and you would ask them to draw that chart on their piece of paper, thinking about all the information that you know related to substance use and abuse that we've discussed so far in this unit. I'd like you to take some time now to complete the chart. If you're doing this with your students, does anyone have any questions of clarification for this particular strategy?